If, if Trump were to lose for the second time, what would you think the reset would have to be for Republicans? I would say things would get so bad, it'll be uh, almost in a communist type of zone to where we may not even be able to farm anymore. We may have to sell our land before, you know, it's completely controlled with all the regulations. He cut regulations. Everything. I couldn't name one thing that's positive of Biden. And this is why we're in a mess. And But I think one of the worst things, you know, with agriculture and my business and everything else, when they opened up that border, you know. When you say they opened it up, what do you mean? Well, we had it shut down. Trump had it regulated and he was screening them. And now we're going to have bad stuff go on. There's, they're infiltrating the country, feeding everybody for free, you see. Can't afford it. Can't afford it. Like he says, they got to come in legally, not illegally. You get in illegally, you know, you're going to have a mess. And I'm afraid it could be, that's why we have so much crime. And I can see where things could get bad down the road. If we don't get Trump back this next time, it's really going to get bad. If he were to lose again, what would you think the Republican Party has to do to reset? Oh, boy, that's a big one. I, I don't know what they can do. It, it, really, truly, they need to get rid of Democrat, Republican people. I don't care who you talk to. If they're Democrat, they won't listen to you. If he were to lose a presidential election for the second time, how would that affect you? I would feel that the media manipulated it again. I don't, it, it's it's kind of hard to to put into words the way I feel about, uh, about what's going on in today. Um, without getting overly emotional about it. The fact that we're, uh, that we're trying to, what's the word, that we're trying to blackball somebody that is clearly the front runner when it comes to this next election is insulting. You have to dig so deep, especially when it comes to the media and YouTube and things like that. You have to dig so deep to find the truth. And then once the truth comes out, you know, you're like, well, I wasted all this other time when it could have just come out in honest journalism. Where do you get your news from generally? Generally, um, I, I go to independent sources, uh, Stephen Crowder. Um, I like that Stephen Crowder has a web page that you can fact check everything that he says. Um, I dabble in a little bit here and there. I kind of do my due diligence. Um, I, under, I, I know your network and uh, and, you know, it, there's, there's agreements and disagreements in every media. Um, I just, I, I go where it's truest, in my opinion. What will you do if former President Trump were to lose again? Well, depending on how honest of an election it looked like it was, if it was honest and run correctly, I would accept it. If it wasn't, I would not accept it. Okay. Thanks so much. Then maybe we'll have to make him king. Do we, would we want to go back to a monarchy? You don't know what's going to happen. Would you be, if they decided to go back to a monarchy and make Donald Trump the king, would you be okay with that? I would do that versus what we're at now. Yeah. With that, with the system being manipulated and corrupted, it isn't a true democracy. If you don't have legal justice for everybody, you know are no longer a democracy. That's the whole core of democracy. But Queen Melania will not have been born in the United States. So? She's great first lady. Yeah. But she's if she good. were a queen, would that be okay with you? I don't care. Okay. Right. Many of them haven't. I mean, she's a good person. Yeah. Smart, beautiful. God save the queen? Never know. <laughs> <laughs>